Hey, what's going on guys? Tanner Bell here, and in today's DIY video, we have one of the Plain Jane doormats that I've seen all over the internet with funny quotes. Earlier this year, we made a home is where the pizza is doormat, but today we're back with an awesome DIY gift idea for this holiday season. What we're going to do is give it an awesome geometric spin, so let me share with you exactly what you need. all these hexagons that I'm going to use for my pattern. You could use painter's tape to create your pattern or whatever you'd like to do today. So you just want to start lining them down onto your mat and start placing them down. I'm using vinyl pillow hexagon stickers today, which is a fantastic method to use when you're wanting to do one of these stenciling methods. And it's super easy to just lay these down and they're removable. You can, you have a few different options when you're placing them. If you don't like it, you can move it around. We're going to just start laying these out, make sure they're evenly distributed. I really love the size of these hexagons too. I think they're about four or five inches, maybe a little bit bigger, I'm not really sure. We're just starting in the middle and working our way down and up for each line. And then once this is finished, what we're going to do is grab our spray paint and just give it a nice coat of spray paint outside. All right guys, I went and grabbed a few more and now we're ready to finish this off. All right guys, we're ready to head outside, but I have no idea where we're gonna spray paint because we have no grass. So let's go! All right guys, we're outside and what we're going to do is give it a coat or two of spray paint, nice and white. It's going to be an awesome, elegant finish. This is white, right? <laughs> it's white. It's white. Okay, so our vinyl stickers are not sticking to the mat like we wanted. So now, Brandon had the great idea to use thumbtags. I have some safety pins. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pin down our vinyl stencils. Oh gosh. And to keep it in place. I don't know how well this method's gonna work, but I think it's gonna work better than nothing. All right guys, so we've gave it a few coats of spray paint. Now what we're going to do is peel up our different hexagons. I'm loving how this turned out. It's not the same effect that I wanted. I wanted a little bit richer color, but it still turned out great. And I think it was just so much coverage that you needed to spray paint that it still ended up turning out pretty cool. So all I'm gonna do is peel these up and reveal our awesome design. All right guys, we totally forgot to film an outro for this video, but we had so much fun making this mat and it turned out to be an awesome DIY. We've been using it around the office and you're going to love making your own this holiday season for one of your friends that maybe that just got an apartment or a home. If you all enjoyed this DIY, as always, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIYs, and as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching guys, see ya. wet stuff in me. Please don't. I know.